Hello, and thank you for trusting me to read for you. So today, we're going to be doing kind of a, a little, a few readings. We're going to be doing a charm reading from past loved ones, and then we have some messages from past loved ones. I'm just shuffling as we're here. And then the second messages that you'll get are going to be from your inner child, which will help you with any like healing that you need to do when it comes to your inner child. And then we have, for your bonus cards, the chakra affirmations. And these are going to give you some insight into what affirmations you'll need to balance your chakras. So let's go ahead and we will get started. I've already shuffled the coins. I do want you to know that if the camera zooms in, we'll pull a clarifier with like another message from that same deck. So <clears throat> let's get started. All right, so I'm kind of in the light here. So I really feel that you are, that this reading is from some maternal energy. This is the uh, charm for the mother. I feel though that you're kind of getting some messages from ancestors. I feel that you have a lot going on and it feels like in some ways you're really awakening and things are really starting to make sense for you. But everything is kind of like on top of each other. So let's unpack this a little bit. So I do feel that there is a dream that your ancestors have for you. There is a, like a path that they want you to follow. There is some things that match up with what you are looking for and how you are looking for them. So you need to believe that the things that you're dreaming can be coming to you, that you can have a full life, that you can look and find everything that you want. You know, the message that's coming in here is, always remember you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and loved more than you know. And I really feel that this is coming in from that maternal energy that is a an ancestor, an ancestral guide. I feel that it was an aunt type, per, like an, a great aunt that was very wise. A lot of people got information from this person. This is who is giving these messages specifically. We may hear messages from a couple of different people, but I really feel that this has a lot to do with spirituality because this is the charm for Lord Ganesh in my charm kit. And this is coming up here. But then we also have, as we kind of go a little bit deeper, we have a, a cross that's coming up as well. And it's under dream, hope, trust, love, dream, hope, trust, love. And then this is also the charm for your solar plexus, which is where we create from. I feel that your family and a lot of your past lives have been spiritual leaders. I feel that you have been a spiritual leader in a past life, possibly several of them. And so what's happening is you're kind of being drawn into and kind of like being led to remember who you are. You have a lot of messages to share and you are a very special person. That's the word that stuck, stuck out to me was the word special. <clears throat> So then we have this grenade right next to the globe. So the globe to me is social media. I feel that you have a lot of messages for other people and you're going to start teaching them and sharing them on social media and it's just going to blow up. Like people need to hear what you have to say. But I feel that what you're kind of experiencing right now, you don't see how special you are. You don't see that you would have a message that would blow up social media, but you do. And this ancestor really wants to work with you on how to get those things open. So like our ancestral guides and our spirit guides, they can't help us unless we specifically ask. So in your case, your guide says, drive safe, I need you here with me. And then the little train was on top of it, like laying directly on it. This guide really wants to help you know where to go. So I feel that this definitely has a lot of like maternal energy. It may be that there's just like a group of maternal or feminine energy that's very strong 
in your family line. I feel that the healing that you have been doing on yourself, like the meditation, the uh, kind of like shadow work that you've been doing, any of that healing that you've particularly been doing has really, really helped you be open to these guides and how they want to connect with you. So I feel that you, you know that there is a connection. You know that you are, there's something there. And I feel that you've kind of been searching for it. You've been asking a lot of questions, but I really feel that you're right in the space that you need to be in. You're right at the beginning of your creation. You're right at the beginning of everything just unfolding and opening for you. I feel that there are some messages that are going to be very specific from this person. So we're going to pull a couple now while this energy is here on the board. And I want you to pretend and like focus on that little charm. And imagine these messages are coming directly from this person. Because I feel in your heart you know who this person is. So we're going to do a couple messages. We're going to do three of these for now. Oh, no, we're going to do a little more than that. We're going to do All right, we're going to do four. Message number one says, don't give up. Don't quit because I'm gone. I feel that you have a family mission, that there are things that you were taught when you were really young, and they're carrying over into your life now, and you're not supposed to quit even though this person is no longer here to help you with the learning. And then I'm going to do that one last because this one was second. Visits. I visit with you. You feel like talking when I do. So yeah, you do know who this person is. I feel that they give you a lot of signs, a lot of synchronicities. And for a long time, it was very easy for you to believe. But here lately, I feel that it's been harder. It's just life in general has been a little bit difficult. And so believing has been difficult as well. So then the third message says, forget, forget the sad times. I feel that this person, the way they passed away, it was difficult for you. It may have even been the first person that passed away in your life. So it was hard for you to kind of recognize what was going on. But then they wanted you to know family. Tell my family I love them. Yeah, I feel like this is a very important person to your whole family. I feel that this was a very strong person when it came to energy. They were powerful. They knew exactly like what was going on in the spiritual realm. My ears are even ringing. I feel that they still guide you because part of the reason that you are on this earth and in their family is because this soul family has these huge plans for helping heal the planet, for helping heal other people. You are a healer and you come from a long line of healers and they want you to know that no matter what modality you choose, I feel that religion is not the, the thing that they're showing you. It's that, the, that you are the one with this power. Because our solar plexus, it's where the light comes from. It's where our brightness is. It's how we create. It's how, like, if the sun is, like, my hand is casting a shadow. Your third dimension is cast through your solar plexus. So any of that healing that you're doing, you're creating these wonderful things that are happening in your life for you right now. So then let's go ahead and we will do the inner child part. I feel like that's really um, something that I want to focus on with you. I feel that your inner child has um, some messages for you. So these are going to be things that you're going to want to do for self-care. I feel that you're kind of struggling a little bit with self-care right now. And I feel, though, that it's part of your connection. And you're doing a really, really good job. You're just being a little bit hard on yourself. So, like, no other part of your, like, your energy or your spirit guides or anything is saying that you need to fix anything. You're just kind of being hard on yourself as you go along. So we're going to do five messages from your inner child. So one, two, three, four, and five. It's so crazy. It's lined up on my 
table, but it looks, there we go. <laughs> I don't want that to bother you. That would bother me. All right, card number one from your inner child says, try to meditate. And I feel like it's very interesting because I feel that meditation is something that you have wanted to do. And it's like, keep trying, keep trying. Meditation is a lot like playing the piano. That is why they call it a meditative practice. It's because you have to keep doing your skills. You have to keep doing your breathing. You have to keep trying these pieces in order to have a meditation practice. So the first thing that your inner child is saying is, hey, try to meditate. Find that balance and that peace. Number two, eat a meal. I do feel that you are struggling with self-care. I think that you'll be noticing that part of the reason that you're having a difficulty with self-care is <clears throat> I feel that there was a lack of care of you when you were young. So there was never really any like thing for you to model after. So like kids learn how to brush their teeth by washing their parents. Kids learn how to wear clo clean clothes by their parents saying, okay, which clean outfit do you want to choose? And I feel that some of those basic needs, you were not taught how to do them for yourself. And I feel that that's partially because you had one parent or both parents that were a little bit selfish in how they took care of you. And so some of your base needs are, you're not always necessarily taking care of them. So when you're not eating that meal, it causes you to choose something that you may not have chosen, which affects your health over time as well. Card number three says, you got this. I feel that your inner child really doesn't want you to give up. And I feel that it's very important for you to keep going, keep trying. You know, there are people that give up and you're not one of those people. I feel that you're feeling so drained because you're having a hard time with your basic needs. And this is really causing you to not be able to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. So then you kind of are spending time upset with yourself because you aren't giving yourself the accolades and the pat on the back that you really need in order to move forward. And so you need to start practicing some of these things where it's like, hey, you've got this. Don't give up. Keep on trying. You can move forward. You can do this. You can try to meditate and you can overcome. Your higher self and your inner child are both very positive beings in your existence. So then card number four says, call a friend. We're going to pull another one. Call a friend. And I feel that this is very important to, for you specifically because your energy is that you are a very solid person. You're very sure of yourself. You don't really feel that you need a lot of help. You are very um, confident. You are very well put together. You don't have a lot of times that you need something. But in this case, I really feel that your inner child is like, hey, just connect with another person, connect with another human. And I feel that that is something that's greatly needed for you because you are so independent that there is a moment when independence becomes isolation. And I feel that in some ways your, your inner child wants you to avoid that isolated stage. So then the next card is take time to sit still. So I feel that that's another kind of nod towards meditation. For you specifically, I feel that there is going to be some help for you when it comes to time to sit still. I would definitely reach out to your spirit guides, to your higher self, and ask for guidance when it comes to like, how to meditate and when to sit still and find that intuition that you can follow. So then we have, it's okay, you're not alone. And I feel that you sometimes are so used to moving forward and charging forward that you forget that there are other people around you. There are people around you who are concerned about you. They do want to know how you're doing, how you're feeling. There's people who aren't really checking in on you because of the fact that 
they don't know how to check in on you. They don't really know what to say to you or what you're needing because you're not really communicating with other people. And they're unable to read your mind. And because of the fact that you are so independent and you move forward so well, people just assume that you're okay. So nobody's really ignoring you or ignoring the situation, but it may feel like that for you only because of the fact that you've kind of had so much space in the past that they don't feel that you would need any kind of in, uh, communication. So you're going to need to ask for that because I do feel that you want some of that connection. So then let's go ahead and do your chakras. I'm going to pull five cards. These are your bonus cards. Bear with me one moment. All right. So having your chakras balanced is going to be something that makes things easier for you as you're going through your healing. And I feel that you are really stepping up your game. You're really, really doing healing. You're listening to different like teachers and you're learning. And I feel that's beautiful. So let's see what's going on with your chakras. So your first one says your heart chakra. So you're going to want to start looking at that and using this uh, meditation or affirmation. I am kind to myself, which I feel like that's beautiful for you because that's kind of what that other card was talking about was, you know, give yourself a pat on the back. Thank yourself for doing a good job. Send love to yourself. That's really what that self-care looks like that I feel that you're trying to kind of build. You're doing an excellent job. What it really turns out to be is coming up with enough of a connection to yourself that you know that you can start trusting yourself. So like when you say that you're going to meditate for 15 minutes a day, when you start doing that on a consistent basis, it's just like any relationship. There's a part of you that says, oh, good, I'm trustworthy. I show up when I say I will. And that's one of the really big pieces to healing that inner child part of ourselves. So the second card is forgiveness. I forgive any past sexual transgressions. So this is the solar plexus. And this is something where if there were any like sexual transgressions where you were abused or someone was inappropriate with you, that is something that the chakra cards are kind of saying, hey, you know what? Focus on healing this. This is where some of the injury, injury that you're feeling is. And then we have the throat chakra, speak up. I speak up for myself. So I feel like you are really, really learning you. So it's kind of like when you get into a new relationship, you can't expect that everything between you and that person is just going to click. Now, does that happen? Yes. But as you get to know somebody longer and as you get more in depth with that connection with that person, you start to uncover things that you never thought that you would find. And it brings you to this opportunity for you to learn and have different experiences. So I'm kind to myself. I speak up for myself. I forgive any past sexual transgressions. Now, forgiveness is incredibly personal. If you don't feel like forgiving these things, don't. Forgiveness is for you. No one else can tell you when or how, if you should. That has to be so, it's only for you, so only you know when to do it. But I do see in the cards that you would benefit from that energy of forgiveness. But that's something that you can make a choice to do or not to do. So then the next card is showing as health. I have healthy relationships. All right. So I would really suggest as we see that we have kind of like, a several chakras that it's not like all of them are heart or all of them are throat. I would actually suggest that you go online and find a guided meditation about balancing all of your chakras because it would be beneficial for everyone, definitely. But also I would use these affirmations for you in particular. And then we have mass consciousness. I have a lot to offer the world. That's beautiful. So I feel that you, 
this is not, I don't feel that this needs to be balanced. I feel that you already have some of this balance going in here. And that's where the, well, actually, you know what's really interesting? The solar plexus was one of the, um, the charms that came out that talked about needing balance. So I would start there. Learn and focus on the color yellow. Chakras really do well with balancing when you're using colors as well. So the, um, the yellow chakra or the solar plexus is one that you're really going to want to work on. So what we're going to do now for this last little bit is we're going to go back to the charms and we're going to say if these are balanced, what does that say for the charms? What do we see at that point? So we'll kind of do like a little mini charm reading. So if we go through those chakras and they're balanced in nice, beautiful. All right. So what I see is, first of all, we have this same charm, this hope, dream, trust, love, and it's right on top of the word love. I feel that if you are start able to start balancing some of those chakras that were showing up, you're going to find that love comes into you very easily, whether this is a new love, whether this is somebody who you have had your eye on, but it's really going to be a lot easier for you to get into relationships. Also, I think this is awesome that the this is the charm for the masculine energy, excuse me, feminine energy, because it's silver, and it is upright. So I feel like you're very balanced in your feminine energy. So I'm going to pull a chakra card as our clarity that it's asking for. Yeah, see, once again, we're at that um, solar plexus, intuition. I can trust my own guidance. And it's really interesting because that's what I see when I look at this foot here. When you follow your own guidance, you're going to find that you always have, you always feel good. You always feel good when you follow your own guidance. That's specific for you. You still have a lot of questions that you're asking. The word why came up twice. I feel that there is a man because we have the word he. My readings in general are, um, I feel like there's a he, a man, a man that has passed on the family that, okay, here we go. So this is the message that came up from that mask or that man that had passed on. Take a breath. I am still here. I feel that this is somebody who potentially called you princess. This is regret. I should have told you I loved you more often. I do feel, though, that this person was over a barrel. Like, there was somebody really controlling them in their life, and they didn't necessarily get the opportunity to say things to you they went the way they wanted to. This person had a lot of responsibilities. This is the charm for the Ten of Wands in the tarot. And I feel that this person felt responsible for a lot of people and a lot of things. So let's see what other messages are coming in from that man. Nothing. You couldn't change anything. Adventure. Don't stop living your life. And the last message, smile. I smile when you do. Yeah, this is a very, this is a different energy than the person who was here earlier. I feel that this is a paternal person. I feel like this may be, because we do have that this is a man that came through for this part of the reading. So I feel that there were actually more than um, one person that came up, especially with the amount of time that we have, that is often the case. So let's see if there's any other charms that we haven't looked at. So I feel that this person, this man is going to show you how to fix things. Show you how to fix things so that you can have peace. Now the word divine is over here. It was kind of off on its own. So I feel that this is a uh, man who has passed on 
who is one of your spirit guides and really wants to show you how to fix things, how to get things on the right track so that the train is standing up. So it's going down the track. So there's a goal in mind. And I really feel that this spirit guide in particular wants to help you with this. So let's find out what this spirit guide would tell your inner child as far as what to do. So first, your, this person would want to give your inner child a treat. I feel like that kind of goes with that princess energy that was around earlier. Oh, it fell over. That's where I was like, where did that princess one go? Uh, and then I need to feel safe. So I'm trying to see where that is actually landing on because the camera, this is the middle. It's not really on anything, which is kind of how that works. So if it, if it pulls ahead again, we'll pull more cards. So let's find another one from your inner child, which is... I need you to acknowledge the hurt. So I do feel that this person, because of the fact that they were not able to be there in the level of, in the, the full capacity of love that you wanted this person to be in, they do see where that made an effect or had an effect on your life. So I would really definitely tap into some of that energy with working with this person because they really do want you to have a healthy, happy, exciting life. Like they are here to show you how to do that. So this particular person, this male that has come back to be here and help you with different connections and people who are going to be showing up in your life. This person is going to give you some intuitive thoughts and knowledge when it comes to people. So you're going to kind of just like know right away, oh, that's somebody I should hang out with. Oh, that's not somebody I want in my life. You're just going to have this clarity. So as a little part here, I wanted to give you some thank you blessings. This is another deck that I channeled, and it's kind of like a way to clear the energy and have you be ready for the rest of your day. So we're just going to do a few of these um, thank you blessings. These are as a thank you for purchasing, purchasing a reading. It is something that I definitely appreciate. So I wanted to give you some blessings. So we have blessing number one, number two, three, four, and five. So blessing number one is May you figure out the perfect words, which I feel like is beautiful for you for this experience because I do feel like you are growing in this. And I feel like as you grow and heal, you're going to be able to share it with other people and they're going to grow and heal. Blessing number two says, may your blessings come to you with ease. I think it's cool that there's a four leaf clover on here and one on here as well. So four leaf clovers may be something that you start seeing. Card number three, may you always get the lowest price on the highest quality. Card number four, may you find a place of love everywhere you go. I feel that like you have a lot of blessings in your life. Like, I feel that you have a lineage and a heritage in which blessings are passed down to you from other people, from other families. I feel that there is a huge connection to that spirituality and to love that you have with your family. And then this card says, may you trust the feeling in your gut, which is really cool because another name for your gut is your solar plexus. So I feel that you are going to move forward. You're going to have a lot of healing. I feel that working on your solar plexus is an excellent place for you to start. I feel that watching this video a couple of times and seeing the different cards and the different things that came up for you is really important as well. 
I really appreciate you allowing me and trusting me to read for you. I hope that you were able to find all the clarity that you were looking for in the different situations that have come into your life. And I really hope that if you have any other questions about this reading or any of the charms or cards that were pulled, that you would feel comfortable to reach out to me and ask any questions about any of the things that you have seen in your video today. Again, thank you so much for trusting me to read for you, and I look forward to reading for you again.